but I'm here today to give you um, a bit of a review of or a comparison review of some pens. I'm, I've been working hard for you guys, look. Um, so what I'm reviewing today is the uh, Coletto with the uh, Mica, which is also the Pilot, High Tech C, and the High Tech C on its own, and then the kind of competition, which is the Pentel Slicky. Do I need to go on, really? But anyway, here we go. Um, as you know, the Coletto is a multi-pen, if you don't know, um, you buy individual refills and you stick them in a multi pen. And this is the pen of my life. I love it. I love it. I love it. As a teacher, I find it possibly the most fantastic thing in the world because it means that I can always have a colour at my command as long as I remember to take it to work. Um, I also use, and in fact what started me off was the High Tech C Coletto, um, and this is my current fave, grey. Not available as a refill for the Coletto, so I have to use him individually. But he's a little bit skippy and a little bit, the, the problem is the nib is quite easily bent. Um, and then I ordered the Pentel Slickies, which were brought out as a direct competition to the High Tech C. But the actually the kind of um, argument about the High Tech C was that it was very small, thin, and that the grip. Oh, can you hear this? Yeah, that's better. The grip is kind of a, a ridged plastic grip. So then the Slicky comes out by Pentel with the same grip. But an even thinner barrel. What's that about? Um, now, I know that in the old videos, uh, it's not so easy to show you. So I've done some uh, shots, which I'm going to put in below of the difference in the nibs. So the Coletto nib, as we know, is quite fine. Um, I'm talking about a 0.4 in all of these. Um, but the nice thing about the Coletto is it kind of bends a bit so it gets into your writing style and it doesn't stop producing ink. The High Tech C is a little bit skippy. So it's much more, I think, much more fragile as a nib. Um, it's very fine, but it's certainly a needlepoint uh, nib, which I like. So if you don't like needlepoints, like you don't like the High Tech C or the V point, what not, five, I don't know what it's called. I just don't know. But you know what I mean. And then you get this, the Pentel Slicky. This is sold as a, a roller ball gel ink. And I have to say that the ink, the nib is definitely more roller than needlepoint. And for me, personally, that's a no no. Because I don't like the roly thing. If I like the roly thing, I'd use Biro's. You know, ballpoint pens, I would. Um, but you can get a pack of 10 of these, uh, pretty much exactly the same colours as the Coletto. Um, the pink in this set is the same as the kind of baby pink that you can get in the Coletto. There isn't a fuchsia pink, which is another deal breaker for me. The other thing I don't like is the purple, um, which is violet, and it's a pinky purple. It's just a personal preference. I don't really like it. Um, so what I've done is, um, and I'm going to give you the shot below now, is I've done a, a little comparison of the colours for you across the three pens. Um, so that you can see.
Really, I think the Coletto wins in many ways for the colour, but I'm kind of a bit of a fan of the mica. The mica is an, it's just sturdier. It's more grippy. If you use the lid on the back of your pen, which I don't, it, it has a really nice weight, but it has a different um, grip. It's not completely uh, like a, a screw twist. It's, it's a little bit more spacey. I find it easier to hold with my big fat sausage fingers. Um, also, it has a little, a little gem in the top. So I'm going to put some um, pictures down below here of A, um, the different colours, and B, the pen top of the mica. Okay. So, what do you think? Well, you would think actually that they're pretty much much of a muchness. I mean, the slicky has definitely been brought out to um, take the competition with the high tech C. Slicky, high tech C. Um, but the the one criticism I've seen of the high tech C was that the barrel was too thin and the grip was too. Ugh. And so what have they done with the slicky? They've made an even finer barrel. God, I mean, it's almost non-existent. Um, and exactly the same grip. Don't like it. Personally, don't like it. So then I've done a little completely um, subjective chart here um, with a few criteria across the four different pens and the criteria are nib flexibility and smooth you'll see that with the coletto the more you use it you can actually bend the nib a bit it goes into your handwriting it gets a bit bent but it doesn't stop flowing um, so there's nib flexibility and smoothness the next one is ink flow and consistency and unfortunately the good old-fashioned high-tech C really doesn't score here for me because it skips and <sighs> don't like that uh, my next criteria is vividity and range of colors and they're pretty much across the board similar I've given the slicky uh, three out of five just because you can only buy 10 colors and you can buy like 15 colors in the coletto and you can buy 12 colors in the mica so there you go barrel width and feel in hand is my next criteria obviously it depends what size coletto you've got um, I've actually been judging this based on the the five which is a bit thick for some people but I still would prefer uh a five color coletto do a little slicky don't like the slicky you can tell can't you but it's not just about the barrel width it's about the weight in the hand and so when we come on to the mica um, if you use the lid on the back you've got a nicely evenly weighted writing um, instrument next thing is the grip well, I will only use a Coletto that has um, a silicone grip on it. I've given away all my lovely, very pretty um, Colettos that don't have a grip because I can't bear, bear plastic on a multi-pen. hate it. Um, the grip on the Slicky is exactly the same as the High Tech C. Not something I've ever been a fan of, but on the Mica, it's suddenly thicker and easier to hold and I like it a lot. Next criteria is cost and because you can buy individual refills for the Coletto I'm not sure here how I feel about it. Um, I'm thinking that the cost is probably the worst mark for the Coletto because they're very thin refills so for your money you're not getting as much ink but then if you've got a skippy pen like the high-tech C 
you're probably going to chuck it in the bin before the ink has run out. So far, um, with the micas, I'm finding that they're fine. And so far with the slicky, I could imagine they're going to go on forever. Uh, I think I've given them all the same. I am not going to be using the slicky. I'm putting them in my Christmas box. I hate them that much. Okay. And the other one, my last criteria is lovability. And of course, top of lovability is the old Coletto. One pen, five colours. Why would you want anything else? Why? Because actually, the mica is a much nicer experience as a pen. And I am quite happy to, for example, for me, for work, I am quite happy to carry five micas or one Coletto. What I'm not happy to carry is five slickies. Don't like them. Sorry. So the lovability mark for the slicky, completely subjective, nothing to do with their quality because the quality of the ink is fantastic. The quality of the flow is fantastic. Uh, I don't like the rollable nib. I prefer, a, a, even with a 0 0.4, it feels like a rollable. I don't like that. Uh, I like the naught point. If you like the Coletto nib, which is more needle point, then you're going to just love the mica. M A I C A, mica. We love it. So down below, I am going to put some pictures. One of a comparison of the nibs. One a comparison of the ink colours. That would be two. Yeah, two. Uh, three. The little picture of the lid of the mica, and for my criteria. So I hope this is useful to you. I thoroughly recommend having a go. I mean, jetpens.com in the US, you can buy individual colors of the mica. So buy your favorite color and try it out. The only thing I have to say against the mica is they don't do apple green. They just do the dingy Coletto normal green. And I don't like that. The one thing I love about the Coletto is I get apple green. Oh, I have to give in because they do an apple green here in the Slicky. But I don't want to use it. I'm, I've am i actually started using the dingy, not dingy, but the dark green in the mica to get used to it because they don't have an apple green. So, you know, it's horses for courses. What can I say? The Slicky is completely non-skippy. So if you have a problem with the high-tech C individual pens because they skip, and because you have to get them going a bit, then the Slicky is the one for you. If you have teeny tiny little angel fingers, then the Slicky is going to be good for you. But seriously, if you have like normal human hands, the mica is going to be the one for you. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. So I'll be back at the weekend with my review. I've, I've, uh, I'll be back at the weekend with my tutorial. I've nearly finished editing it. I've done all the difficult bit, but I, I just haven't got the time at the moment. We've got a whole load of stuff going on at work and lots of um, changes and meetings and non-ending, never-ending meetings, meetings, meetings. <gasps> Oh, give me the lavender and the smelling salts. I feel a little faint. Um, but I will be back at the weekend. I'd like to say, woohoo, we love coconut oil. I bought it for my file of facts. I'm putting it on my face. I love the world of stationery. Bye. See you soon. Bye.